Hello everyone, down on the banks of the Grand Canal today, as you can see behind me, about seven tents there. And this has been added to about seven more tents that go down towards the end of Grand Canal as well, which have reappeared, a new tent city. Currently, Waterways Ireland are paying up to 20,000 euro per week for these barriers that go all the way up as far as Harles Cross Bridge. And yet we've seen the tents come back along the Grand Canal and the immigration chaos continues. We've seen nearly 3,000 uh, economic migrants and asylum seekers without accommodation. Also huge queues down at the IPA centres and more tents along the Grand Canal. This is just absolute chaotic madness. And who does it benefit? It benefits the rich bosses that the political classes represent, uh, keeping wages repressed and for keeping accommodation costs high as well. And today, most notably, there was a report released from A&E's in our society and it impacts on basic health and public services. Over 5,000 people died in emergency departments in Ireland over the last five years. It was actually nearly 5,500 people died. Uh, the highest amount was in CUH, where 158 people died last year. We've seen the huge pressure on services, huge pressure on working class communities most of all, uh, and yet the government and the political establishment are turning a blind eye to what's going on and this chaos is still continuing in Dublin as I speak. At the same time, the Irish political establishment are trying to clamp down on freedom of speech and are trying to deflect the blame from themselves onto the social media companies and onto other people as well. And to a massive extent, social media companies have democratised what's going on so people can have a say in what's really going on in Ireland. And now they're trying to cancel it and look at financial penalties and look at other ways to try and silence people and self-censor and shut them up from speaking out against what's really happening. It's barbaric. Uh, these policies are absolutely disgraceful. It's impacting working class communities, as I said, most of all in terms of access to housing, access to health services. Uh, as I mentioned, the stark figures coming from emergency departments, not to mention the homeless figures, where we have record amounts of people in emergency accommodation, and over 4,000 of those are children, uh, which are long-term incarceration facilities. And if you consider the Irish government are looking to try and silence, as I said, people from speaking out and tackle uh, social media platforms as well for people speaking out. I myself have been uh, censored to a massive extent on various platforms, such as Facebook, for speaking out the truth to what's really going on in Dublin. It's an absolute disgrace. It needs to be spoken out about it, but we know who it benefits. The super rich, the wealthy, and this is what the political establishment in Ireland represents and the globalist bosses. Uh, rather than stand up for the interests of people here in Ireland, the more interested in standing up for the European Union, bureaucrats and their bosses who represent the billionaire class in Ireland. As I said before in many video, over two billionaires have the same wealth in Ireland as 50% of the population and who gets rich from this? Commercial property owners uh, creating chaos in more working class areas, more working class communities as well. And this is just a case in point where so many people are profiting in Ireland as well as internationally from the immigration chaos created deliberately by government policies uh, rather than addressing and standing up for the needs of ordinary people here in Ireland. So thanks for the support. Please share my videos and take care. See you all soon. Salam.